Hey guys, uh, Prepper Nurse One here, and my daughter Heather. Heather, say hello. Hello. So we are up at the property today. Um, we just brought a load of stuff. We just got done unloading everything. Um, I brought up the uh, the well pump and the solar panel and a bunch of other stuff in preparation uh, for next week. Um, tomorrow is supposed to rain all day, so we're not going to bring another load up tomorrow. But getting another load up here today is a good thing. It's one less load of stuff that we have to get. But uh, the house is pretty empty, as you saw from my last video. So I think we can get everything that we need to get into um, a, the truck for um, next Saturday. So it's getting exciting. It's going to be here before we know it. Um, and then probably the first two weeks that we're here, the focus is going to be getting the solar system set up, um, getting the plumber up here to uh, get the pump in for us and get that set up and uh, you know get things moving that way because uh, having uh, been able to pump the water and, uh, and then being able to uh, you know have power other than the generator I mean I have the generator so I'm not worried about having power I mean we may have to utilize the generator quite a bit here uh, this first week or two until we get everything set up um, I'm going to be ordering more solar panels and uh, so once we, once we're up here I'm going to wait till we're here and then um, I'll have more solar panels. I still have not received the charge controller yet. They, on the invoice, they said they would ship it out when they had it. So I'm hoping it comes this week because then after that, we're going to be gone. And there's my daughter on top of the truck. So um, anyway, uh, I have uh, a lot, a lot of work to do. Um, you know, I got to get all this brush down, which we will do that. Uh, I got to burn this. What I'm going to do, like I told you before, I'm going to be pulling the camper up. And then through this area, I'm going to be actually putting in more stone, more of the uh, finer stone, up through this area here. Um, and then, like I said, I'm going to have him clear this out more for me to get this ready. As far as, uh, you know, so when we do start our build here, which will be soon. Um, I'm debating, you know, um, i got a couple different options that I'm going to do, but... Uh, you know, just if I get uh, if I get the roof over um, everything in the um, post and so it's you know all under shelter, um, that'll be a good start. But uh, you know, like I said, we're going to be steadily working on stuff. Obviously, over the course of the rest of the summer and in fall, in preparation for winter, um, with getting up here sooner as opposed to later, it's going to give us more time to be working on things. So. Um, you know, next weekend is going to be extremely busy, um, and so we will be most like well Saturday night we'll be spending the night up here. It'll be our first night up here, so the first night is just going to be me and Heather, because Eddie will still be with his mom, and then we'll get Eddie back on Sunday. So basically, Sunday is going to be unpacking, organizing um, things, and trying to get things settled in as much as we possibly can, because it's going to be crazy. So. Um, very excited. I know Heather. Heather, are you still nervous? Yeah. Yeah, she's still nervous about the whole move, but, uh, you know, they will do fine. I know they will. Um, and like I said, every, uh, I get paid every two weeks, so I'm just going to do what I can and uh, get things squared away as much as I possibly can and try to be as prepared for winter as we possibly can be. Um, the priority, like I said, first is the water and the solar. And once those two things are squared away, then the focus is going to be on getting the building around the camper. And uh, so all this is going to be moving and grooving here pretty quickly. Um, and so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, like I said, we have a lot of work to do, but I'm excited about it and I know it'll come together. And, uh, you know, we're going to be fine. I mean, I just, it's a positive mental, mental attitude. You know, if you visualize it, you see it, and then you do it. You know, um, if you let yourself be overwhelmed, you're going to get overwhelmed. I'm not overwhelmed. Um, this is not like unexpected, like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. I mean, this has been coming for a long time. Um, so, you know, the house is pretty empty already. And like I said, with Heather and I bringing that other load of stuff up here a couple of weeks ago, um, that is just, it was a tremendously huge thing because otherwise I'd be looking at two loads of stuff to get out of there. So, um, you know, that worked out really, really, really well. So, um, right now we're just, uh, we're going to be heading back. It's a beautiful day. It's uh, about 75 degrees. It's sunny. I'll show you the sun up here in the clouds. 
and uh, but I mean look at the trees I mean look how beautiful it is up here you know um, it is absolutely gorgeous and uh, I love this place I absolutely love it and uh, you know um, one of the things I wanted to explain to you guys what I do plan on doing um, winter time obviously is never an issue as far as keeping things cold up here <laughs> but what I would like to do is uh, I'm thinking in this area going straight into the hill digging into the hill and um, you know digging down a little bit and then into the hill and uh, putting in um, like a, a, a root cellar basically and uh, but you know have it like sealed in really really well and then in the winter time I saw another gentleman that had a video where he basically took I can't remember how many buckets it was um, I think it might have been like 500 I think I don't know exactly how many he had um, but he filled them with water um, put them into his underground thing and it kept it like it was like a freezer it was like 30 something degrees so it's obviously something that we can do before you know um, you know down the road here I don't know if we're gonna get to it this year I would like to get started on it I mean I can dig underground all winter if it's cold it don't make no difference and uh, you know but I, like I said the main project is getting the building and stuff squared away so we're gonna just have to kinda see with that and we're gonna just you know we're just gonna focus on the important things first and it's in honestly it's gonna be very methodical one step at a time and my phone's ringing so I will let you guys go prepper nurse